Huh? Are we about what is that? The blow-up one. Is that a blow-up chair? Remember the blow-up one that you land? Oh, you should bring it. Why not? Anyways, I'm gonna do my thing now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Z1 TV. Well, you don't want to be in it. You're that scared. You know this is a vlog, right? So you know you're gonna be in them. You're gonna be in them. Welcome back. Today, exciting day. We're going to do a. Uh, we're gonna go racing. Well. I'm gonna try to race. Um, I've literally driven my buggy one time ever. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna record it this time. We're gonna make a video. It's gonna be a fantastic time. Hopefully you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, all the fun things. Anyways, okay. So, uh, you wanna say hi? <sighs> so before we go, I need to get my buggy cleaned up because I didn't clean it up from last time because I'm a terrible, horrible person, I know. Uh, so I wanna show you, I guess I'll show you my buggy. Be nice about the paint job, okay? Be nice. I have a paint job. I ordered a body, like painted. I'm just waiting for it to get here. So I painted my own. I painted it wrong. I used the wrong paint. It's flaking off. It looks terrible. Be nice. But let's check it out. All right. So in here is my little, uh, is my buggy. Now this is a 1.8 scale. Um, it is a Techno EB48 2.0. Um, and I want everybody to know right now that I am not a, uh, I'm not a pro or anything. So there's my buggy. I don't, you know, oh my gosh, the paint is so chipping off. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. That wasn't like that last time. I must have rolled it and killed it. Anyways, okay, we're gonna get this bad boy cleaned up. Now, the problem with these things is that, uh, well, it's not a problem. It's, they're not waterproof. So you gotta be careful of how you clean them. And I'm gonna show you how most people clean these and they basically just use simple green um, I have this mix it's just diluted down a little bit and then uh, WD-40 so um, let me grab a pair of pliers so I can get these pins out because these pins are ugh. that one came out I get this one come on pin okay that one's not coming out ta-da look at that okay it's good um, all right so here I'm gonna pull this off of here and you can see I blew this out already. So basically what you do is you use a com combination of these things and uh, compressed air. So I'm just gonna do this on the hood of my truck. <laughs> my poor truck, my poor old truck. This is my old truck. That's my new truck. This is my old truck. Um, and basically what you do is you just kind of like, so be mindful of things like your servo, your ESC, your uh, motor, stuff like that. Like don't try to get those like doused, but everything else, I was kind of go, gonna go ahead and just spray them down. And I'm gonna let them sit here for a minute. And it's just simple green, so I'm not worried about like eating the hood of my truck or anything like that. So <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just let this sit here and do its thing for a minute. All right, so I'll let this sit for a few minutes, and basically we're just gonna use compressed air, and we're gonna blow this bad boy out, and it should, for the most part, get all nice and clean. You can see it's already pretty clean. I lost, I lost the tip. <laughs> it just kind of popped off. All right. Uh, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now, normally you would do this like after racing, and I'm not super worried about it because like the track I'm going to, um, I don't think they're super picky. But like some places, I, from what I've heard, uh, can be very picky. And when you have to like, um, like tech in. So the ra the track I'm going to is it's a smaller track, and it's awesome. But like, I don't think we're gonna have like a tech in and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. So no one's gonna look at the car. But yeah, it looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna hit it with WD-40 and then do the entire thing again. And it's gonna look fancy and fresh. Now, ideally I would take tires off before doing this. However, like I said, I'm leaving in like five minutes. So yeah, it's fine. All right, and like that, it's just clean. It's good to go. Uh, looks pretty fresh. Tires, like I said, they're dirty. I'll get those cleaned up later, though. That's like, I should, I need to take them off and like actually like wash them, but I just didn't do that, so. Um, buggy looks good. Everything's good. Nothing's broken. It's time to load up the truck and go. What are you girls doing? We were, we were going like this. I said, I was like, look. Your hats look fancy. 
<laughs> All right, so getting gas and uh, we're heading to the racetrack. So I don't, oh, hold on, exposure, come on. Wow, we're blown out. All right, so getting some gas. I don't know how much I'm gonna actually be talking at this event because I don't know about talking in front of people. It's super weird. <gasps> Did you get ice? Do you want to say hi? Huh? You want to say hi or are you scared? scared? She's scared. I'll give you a... Wait. Where are you? I can't... Oh, there she is. Right there. It's hard to see with sunglasses on. <laughs> so, I don't know how much we're going to be talking at this event because um, it's super weird talking in front of people. So, we'll figure it out, I guess. I don't know. We'll see.
it's the next day. Um, basically what happened is I was there most of the day. Actually, I think we were only there like six hours and it was a blast, but we were out in the sun all day. I was pooped. I was exhausted. <laughs> and I, I think I actually fell asleep on the car right home. Um, so yesterday was good and like got home, unpacked the truck, came in, um, got some stuff done for, you know, the main channel and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. However, one thing I did learn, one thing I did learn is I did not glue my tires very good. So I talked to these, these are very dirty. So I talked to some people there. Um, so as you can see, that foam coming out, eh. this foam right there, not supposed to be coming out like that. So on, let me see, actually, let me see how many tires I blew. <laughs> so I'm going to go through, I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to reuse them. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tossing them. Um, some people might just toss them. I'm not going to toss them because like, I'm no, <laughs> not happening. Um, um, I know for a fact, I'm pretty sure I blew four of them. And so what I was doing was I bought, I bought a set that I glued myself and then I bought a set that came pre-glued. Um, and because I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to let them pre-glue them for me and all this stuff. Maybe I only blew three tires. I think I only blew three. No, I'm almost positive I blew another one. Anyways. Um, however. Actually, no. Those are all three. No, I did. I blew one of these side lock tires out. Yeah. Okay. So, three of the ones that I glued, I blew out. However, one of them that came pre-glued was blown out as well. And so, cause I was gonna, I was just gonna order. I was like, you know what? I was ordering pre-glued from the factory. That should be the best, right? I don't think so. And the reason I don't say I don't think so is because if they are coming unglued from a day's worth of running, then I would think that I could do a better job if I did it myself. Now I know I didn't do a better job because like I said, these three I did myself, these are factory done. However, I think now that I could do this right, because what, what they were, what people were telling me at the event was, uh, they said pro line tires have a lot of like, um, when they release the forms, you know, cause like they form the rubber in like a form and they use a lot of like the releasing agent or whatever. So what I need to do is I need to go in there with rubbing alcohol and clean those, uh, those beads really good. So I didn't do that. I didn't clean anything. I didn't clean the beads. I didn't clean the wheels. I just glued them on and hope for the best. So apparently, um, I got the stuff to do it. I need to clean the, uh, the beads with alcohol. And then I also need to score the wheel where the bead locks into with, um, like a scotch Brite pad. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do those, but I'm going to glue my own tires because I already had one factory one come blown, like come off and I just feel like I could do a better job. Like if I take the time, if I do it the right way, I feel like it's going to last a lot longer. And a lot of people there are saying that they've had tires for years that they've been running and they've never had an issue. So, um, I'm just going to do it the right way. I guess it just shows just do it the right way. Right. Um, but yeah, so I had a blast. It was a fun time. Um, I tried to fly my drone a little bit. I, I got it in the air. Then I got like an error on it. So like I brought it down. So I didn't, there's not a lot of drone footage. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to get more of that because like, like again, this is stuff that I don't do very often. But um, also these little mini buggies are super cool. I picked these up when I was, uh, I was, so I went to Omaha. I went back home to visit family and I went to Omaha, Nebraska. And in Omaha, Nebraska, they have a place called Hobby Town Hobby Plex. It's the biggest hobby town I've ever seen in my life. It might be the biggest hobby town. I don't know. It's literally a warehouse. And um, they had an indoor carpet track and an indoor dirt track there. So I was there. I didn't have anything to race. So I picked up this little guy, little, little small guy. Um, and it was ready to run complete comes with everything. So I picked this up, threw it on battery charger, charged it, ran it around the carpet track, had an absolute blast. And then I took it on the dirt track as well. These little guys are a lot of fun and there's like some upgrade ability to them. So, uh, this is the mini B. This is the low C mini B. Um, I don't know if people race these. I've seen some videos of people racing them. However, in my area, I know that like, I think I'm the only one that has one of these. So, um, and there's also a, uh, a mini Truggy as well. So, um, I picked this up the same day because 
my kids wanted to race each other, so they were both playing. And then, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm actually thinking about getting like a, a race, like a truggy, because I, I really like the, tr I like the truck body. You know, I'm, I'm like a fan of the truck body. I don't know. Comment down below. What do you think? You should think we should get a truck body. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do videos on these, like later. I think at some point we'll, uh, we'll get, we'll play with these and we'll, we'll do some kind of videos. I just don't know where to, I don't know like where, where, where to really race them. Um, they need a little bit better tires for the track that I go to because the track that I go to is really loamy, uh, which means it's really powdery and fluffy. There's like a lot of powder on top, so. Uh, but yeah, all right. That's fun. That's fun. So leave a comment down below if you watch this whole video. If you're at, if you're to the end, um, comment down below what you are wanting to see and what you're curious on. If you're talking about RC stuff, awesome. If you're not talking about RC stuff, you want to see something else. Leave a comment and let me know. But I have a lot of RC stuff, and that's what I've been playing with. That's what I've been doing a lot lately, and that's what I'm, like, really getting into. And I think a lot of people should get into it. Um, I, you, there's there's a lot of things. There's a lot of different price points in which you can get into RC. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of good price points. Now, I always recommend getting going for, like, the hobby-grade stuff because the hobby-grade stuff, you can replace parts. You can, like, if you break a part, you can fix a part, or you can upgrade stuff. Um yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I should make like a video of like, you know, entry level RC cars that I have. Not all of them, obviously, because like I don't have all of them, but just like the ones that I have. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, all the fun things. This is like a new channel, new things, new stuff, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get into this. But yes, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.